I'm not doing a single momentum. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you're just unconscious. <laughs> Welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco here, continuing I'm Setsuna. It's been a while since I've recorded. I've already pretty much forgotten what we did last. I've been pretty much sick for this past month and I'm only just recovering. I still have a really bad cough that just refuses to go away. Huh? This must be the village that n need Neater? I already forgot his name. Neater was talking about. Oh, my friends, you're all here. You're safe. We met you on the ship. Oh, that's the merchant. <laughs> you're that traveling entertainer. Glad to see you remembered. Thanks for helping me out back on the ship. So you made it to the mainland safely too. You're a lucky man. Well, I don't feel very lucky. All my cargo went down with that ship. So I'm planning on setting up shop here for a while. Are you headed for Flonea Citadel? That's right. It seems we have to cross a mountain to get there from here though. Aha! Well, you don't need to worry about that. There's a series of caverns that lead to the Citadel. There is? Yes, the captain should be able to unlock the entrance for you. Oh, what a relief. Have you got everything you need for the journey? Let me take advantage of your position. Make sure you stock up on items before you leave. And if you have any materials that you got from monsters, please do sell them to the magic consortium. I can't remember, did he recognize her as the sacrifice or not? Because if so, then I hope you are going to give me discounts. We always do our utmost to offer the best possible prices. Inside the village, you'll also find my fellow traders. There's a blacksmith, an apothecary, a chef. They're all inside the pub to the left of the village entrance, so please give them your business too. Alright, let's see what you have, buddy. Oh, we can sell. Obtain Spritnit. Nope, we want to keep most of the stuff. Some materials. Ooh. Yeah, but we use. Enables use of insight. Cast provoke on a single target. Do we want to sell this stuff though? I do remember that a lot of these things could be used for. For uh, creating materials. Yeah, alright, materials here. Can we make anything at all? No, we can't. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Enables use of aura, healing energy recovers the HP of all allies near the target. Also heals status ailments when used in momentum mode. Alright, so cell required items. Damn, I really don't have anything. Shrewd-eyed young man. My father wants me to be a farmer like him. That's not the life for me though. Right now I'm honing my skills in the resistance. But one day my name will ring out to cross all the land. No one's a match for the captain. I'm the second strongest around here though. So 
honestly, it meant neater. Hmm, you s might not seem like it, but everyone says he used to be pretty strong. It's a little hard to believe when you look at him now, though. My son's in the resistance, you know. Says he doesn't want to be a farmer like his old man. He's doing it to protect the village, I know that. I just always thought he'd follow in my footsteps. I should have listened to that dude's advice. Tempering items. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By combining these metals with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you- <laughs> Sorry. You will also be able to purchase these metals from weapon and tallies. Alright, so you're- Items, I don't think I need much of you yet. What do you sell? This is a bit much, don't you think? What do you think this place is, exactly? The man selling herbs, I can just about understand. Bl blacksmith? The chef's pleased because he can get his pots and his knives fixed on the spot, but really, come on! Fluxation. That's new. If a character is equipped with a talisman with a flux bonus, flux weight fluxation will sometimes randomly occur when he or she uses a tech or combo momentum mode. This allows you to power up the corresponding spirit and stone by adding fluxes to it. There are various types of flux bonus. They can increase the power of techs, reduce the amount of MP they use, fill the ATB gauge after use, and much more. Which bonus is granted will depend on which talisman is equipped. When fluxation occurs during battle, the bonuses will be shown on the screen once the battle is over. You can use them to choose. You can then choose to add these bonuses to Spritnet stones, allowing you to customize them as you wish. Okay. Antipod Dagger. A dagger that emits the power of time. It adds time elemental damage to all attacks and also increases resistance against such damage. Ha 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 Yep, let's let's get this and buy. Let's equip it. Oh, I never equipped this, did I? I'm good. Oh wait, no, that is what I have equipped. Okay. have to like oops sorry talk to you read all this much more closely off camera yeah I shall mess with that more later and then maybe explain it in a vid once I understand once I've read it more clearly and slowly Something on the ground. Drawing water is daily duty. You don't get any days off. You keep at it even when your hands are frozen stiff. Even when they feel ready to fall off. Hail bean. Monsters usually stay hidden away in caves and depths of the woods, places like that. But when the sacrifice's protection starts to wear off, they gradually become more and more ferocious. And then they start attacking towns and villages. Just think, right now they're out there somewhere, waiting to attack. Ugh, the scary world. Is 
So what exactly is it about the sacrifice that draws them away? And they just is their bloodlust just satisfied? Does she have to cast a powerful spell that will take her life? Um Yes, what is it? Are you, you the captain? Yes, I'm Frida. Something you find oh that too. Something you find odd about my face, is there? Sorry, I I didn't mean to offend you. I just never imagined that the captain would be a woman. Travelers, are you? We want to get to Flonia. Flonia Citadel? You certainly don't look like any merchants I've ever seen. I can't just let a group of unidentified un un people through. <laughs> if you want to get to Flonia, you'll need to explain yourselves. Is that the best you could come up with? It hasn't even been ten years since the last sacrifice. We're not lying. Have you not noticed? The monsters are more ferocious of late, and their numbers are increasing rapidly. If something isn't done soon, there will be dire consequences. That's why it has been decided to send another sacrifice sooner than usual. Hmm, I see. And that sacrifice was you, is it? I too have sensed the monsters growing more ferocious. It is becoming harder and harder to deal with the ones near the town. And the sacrificial rites losing their power are the sacrificial rites losing their power? Or something else, Are I have indeed been feeling a strange sense of uneasiness lately. But that's only all the more reason for me not to let you through the frost caves. But why? The monsters in the frost caves are even more dangerous than those above ground. I am responsible for guarding this village, and I cannot send a sacrifice in a guard of just two to their deaths. So what should we do? I've been training up the youngsters around here as a resistance force. I want you to at least choose one of them to take with you. The monsters aren't going to wait around until things are convenient for us. We need to be ready to fight back at any time. We met a man in the abandoned village near here. Is he part of the resistance too? Oh, so you met Nieder. Technically, he's a little different. He did once serve as part of the sacrifice's guard, but... Really? He accompanied a sacrifice? Oh, didn't he tell you? It was almost 20 years ago now. <laughs> he didn't seem like the type. Having someone experienced along would be a great help. Do you think he'd join us? <laughs> I very much doubt it. He's not the man he once was. Oh, I see. Well, obviously, since we got to name him, that's gonna change. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He hasn't been back to his hometown once since his, the pilgrimage. He's ended up staying here the whole time. Why is that? Well, maybe you should try asking him. Anyway, let me introduce you to my men. They should be out in the village square training as we speak. Come with me. Can we rob you? Achievement unlocked. Those who take up the sword. Can we rob you? We robbed you. <clears throat> they can all hold their own. Want to test their metal? Uh, what do you mean? I'd hate to do it, but it looks like we've got no choice. Let's see what you've got. Uh, w w what for? <laughs> if you're really strong, well, you, we'll have you join us part of the Sacrifices Guard. Ooh, 
What, right now? Is that really true, though? You will have us join the Sacrifices Guard. Three of you can come at us once. We'll start when you're ready. Are we really gonna fight these guys? They look pretty tough. I really don't like the looks of that guy in the mask, either. No, I want to grow stronger. I'll show them what I've got, and I'll join the Sacrifices Guard. Nidra's never been the same since coming back from the pilgrimage, though. Even if we do get a hero's welcome when we come back, if we end up like him, then... What are you, stupid? Just because Nidra ran himself down, it doesn't mean we will. I want to be a hero! I want to be spoken of in legend and myth! Anyway, this might be the only chance we ever get to join a Sacrifices pilgrimage. What are you babbling about? Hurry up and get yourselves ready. I'll do it! Alright, I'm with you. It'll be fine, he's just wearing that mask to look tough. Come on, let's get him. Looks like they're ready. Eh, you poor sap, don't even get boss music. Nope, I have forgotten how to play. Alright. Not doing a single momentum. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you're just unconscious. <laughs> Get your momentum up, and let's see if I can remember which button it is I need to press. Nope, not that one. There we go. You tried. You tried your best. I knew that I gave a decent amount of experience. It's no good. We don't stand a chance. I never imagined the Sacrifice Guard would be this strong. Me, yeah, on second thought. <laughs> How pathetic. They really were no match for you, eh? Regrettably, they do indeed have little real combat experience. <clears throat> Can we go now, then? It's obvious no one here is going to be up to the scratch. No. <laughs> there is one person. Really? Where are they? <laughs> Standing in front of you. You mean you'll come with us? <laughs> well, what choice do I have? If no one else is up to scratch, then I'll have to go myself. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? I may be past my heyday, but I haven't lost my edge. In combat experience and intuition, count for everything. Thank you. It'll be a great relief to know that you're with us. Now that's settled, I need to get ready. Come on, what are you doing? Taking a nap? All of you patrol duty, now! Now? What? My legs, they won't let me. We need the rest of the day off. Pull yourselves together! You're going to be defending this place by yourselves for a while. Sorry, but can you wait here? It won't take long. I need to do a final patrol while I'll kick some life back into my men. Sweat. 
Please rest yourself at my place until I get back. Okay, let's check out the rest of the village first. I'm sure the resistance would be stronger if they ate more. Food's very important, you know. The resistance are a ragtag bunch. I can't imagine them being much help in a pinch. Alright, I guess that's... It. The resistance lacks discipline. They need to work much harder. They should be out there training until their arms are sore. So sore that they feel ready to fall off. You should join if you're that good then. I want... Oh. Uh, Oh no, I hadn't. I just thought it was the same person. Oh well. Let's rest up here. Let's take the captain up on her offer until she gets back. Not that we really have time to be sitting around. We've still got a long way to go. We need to take every opportunity we can to rest. Oh well. Looks like we've got no choice. And we'll end that episode there. Thank you guys for joining and see you next time.